In this video, we are going to take our Windows Server 2016 machine running an Oracle VirtualBox and promote it to a domain controller. Uh, we set this machine up in a previous video. Uh, before we promote it, though, let's take a snapshot of it in VirtualBox so we can always restore the snapshot and come back to the system later if we can, if we screw up the promotion or want a non-domain controller system. So I'm going to hit the host key and home here. We'll bring up the menu and we're going to go to the machine take snapshot and I'll call this pre-domain controller, pre-DC. Snapshot prior to making DC. Okay, so that'll take a little bit of time to do. Seven seconds there. And then the next thing we're going to do is run server manager. And you can speed up the snapshots if you shut down the machine. Before you take the snapshot, the snapshot will be a lot smaller and it'll go a lot faster. Um, so that's another, another option. Go to Server Manager. All right, so click on Add Roles and Features here. Uh, go ahead and click on Next here. Uh, next again. And we'll walk through these. Um, uh, next, uh, so here we are. Uh, this is where we're going to set up the. Let's go back. I went one too far. The uh, directory services. So we're going to choose Active Directory Domain Services right there. It's going to tell you you have to add a few other features because they're required. That's okay. And this should check here in a second. Uh, the computer's been a little bit slow. Uh, then we're also going to add a DNS. So this is the first system on our network, so we need DNS. And this, this result here, this error message, is basically just telling us that uh, we have a dynamically assigned IP address currently on this system. The, the IP address is assigned through virtual box. Uh, and that's okay. This is not a production system, but if this were a production system, you would want to have a static IP address. So these are these are really the only two things we need checked right now to make this a domain controller. I'll click on next here. Uh, next, we can just select the rest of the defaults. Next, next, and install. And then it's going to install everything. It will ask us to reboot as usual. I'll pause the video now, and when this installation is near complete, we'll return to the video. Okay, looks like uh, this is part is finished, so we have to click on close. And then we'll go ahead, and you notice right here, there is the uh, caution sign, uh, which is telling us that we have to configure uh, a domain controller for the domains. So promote the server to domain controller. We can try this right now, but it's not going to work. Uh, we need to reboot first. So let's reboot this system. Then we'll return to Server Manager, and then we'll promote the server to a domain controller. So we'll just go here and do a reboot. Of restart. Uh, that's fine. So when this restarts, I'll come back to the video. Okay, it's rebooted, so let's log on. Again, we're in VirtualBox, so I'm going to hit the host key, the right control, and then delete. Uh, and the next step is to promote this machine to a domain controller. So all we've done so far is add the Active Directory domain services. So we're going to open up server manager. 
So let's go to server manager here. This machine's still kind of booting up. And uh, this comes up, it'll give you that warning. So this is another way to do it. We can just click on promote the server to a domain controller. And now it's gonna walk us through this uh, promotion. This is the first system on our domain that's a domain controller. This is the name of the system right now. Uh, this is not a very good name for domain controller, but we can leave it for that. Ideally, you'd probably want to change it to something a little more representative of uh, the role. So we're going to add a new force because we do not currently have a domain set up. So add a new forest, our root domain name. We'll make this one topgun.local. So this is... Uh, going to be that it's a local domain. It's not accessible from the internet. This is a internal domain, which is fine. So we'll do the dot local at the end. And let me scroll down here. Click on next. Uh, we are going to leave it, uh, these two options selected. Uh, and you do want to choose the highest or latest server version possible. If you reduce this down to a lower version, uh, it makes this system, which is 2016, uh, backwards compatible, uh, which re actually removes some of the security features. So if you have older domain controllers, uh, you want to update those to the latest version uh, possible. That way you have the uh, most secure setup you, you can get. Uh, we, need, we do need to put in a DSRM directory services restore mode password. So I'll put one of these in here, click on next. Uh, we get a warning right here about the delegation uh, and we can click on show more. So basically we set up topgun.local. There is no existing name server for this domain. So we are going to set up an authoritative primary DNS server for this domain. That's all this is stating. So click on next here. The net BIOS name should pop up here by default. It should say top gun. Take a second. There it is. Next. These are fine. These are the defaults. Next. This is just a uh, screen to review everything we've already chosen to make sure we didn't screw anything up. So this looks good. Next. And now it's going to take a little while to install. I'll pause the video and we'll come back when this is closer to being finished. So we did get a couple uh, prerequisite checks here. That's okay. Uh, one of them is about the static IP. Uh, the default Crypto settings, DNS, so we can go ahead and click on install. You should get a message here about restarting. That's okay. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, you have to restart quite often with Windows. When it finishes restarting, it should be a domain controller, and we can log on uh, using the administrator account to the domain. The next step is we'll create a user in the domain and we'll test that user account. Once it's rebooted, you should see a log on here that says the domain name with a backslash administrator. So now we know we're part of a domain, so you can log on here. We'll do a couple of checks. So the domain is top gun. When we finish logging on here, we're gonna create a user in the domain by going to Active Directory, Users, and Computers. Okay, once it's rebooted and you logged in, uh, Server Manager probably came up. We'll close this. Uh, so let's go to, let's scroll down here, Administrative Tools. We should see a bunch of Active Directory tools now. These are all new. These just showed up when we promoted this to a domain controller. Let's go to, uh, first off, DNS. Let's just verify DNS is working properly. Uh, remember, we also added DNS to this system. This is the name of this computer, and it should have added the zone for 
topgun.local, which is right there. So if we right click on topgun.local, go to properties, the only name server we have is this one right here. Ideally, you would have a secondary domain controller. So this is the name server for topgun.local. Let's look at Active Directory users and computers, administrative tools, and we'll add a user here as well. So we'll expand topgun.local. And if we look here under computers, we shouldn't see any computers. There's no computers that are part of this domain. There is a domain controller though, which is this system right here that we just promoted. For users, the only user we have is the administrator user. There's also a guest user, but that down arrow and this default account means those are disabled. Let's create a new user here. So I can right click on the users over here and go to new user. And since we're doing the Top Gun um, theme, uh, we'll do Iceman. So Ice Man, and the logon name will be Ice.Man. Next, we'll create a password. This has to be a complex password. Windows will balk if you try to do a long passphrase or something that's actually more secure than a shorter complex password. Click on Next, Finish. Now we have a user here called Iceman. Double, double click on Iceman. Iceman is a member of domain users. So typically domain users cannot log into a domain controller. So let's just validate that real quick. So I'm going to sign out here. And I'm going to try to log on as Iceman. We should not be able to log on as Iceman. because we're trying to interactively log on with a domain controller. Let's validate that's working properly. So other user, i.man, and the password. And you see at the bottom here, it says sign in to Top Gun. So we hit get this message here. The sign in method you're trying to use isn't allowed. So that's what we should get. So let's log on as administrator. Let's go and change the group that Iceman is a member of, because we really want Iceman to be an administrator anyway. I did hear they're coming out with a second Top Gun. I seriously doubt it can top the first one, though. So let's go back to administrative tools, users and computers. We're going to double click on Iceman and add him to a new group. So here's Iceman. Member of add domain admin. So we can click on check name. OK. So now Iceman is a member of both domain admins and domain users. This should allow him to log on interactively. Let's just check that, sign out, and then we'll log in as Iceman, and this time the login should work. Other user, Iceman. It looks like it's working. All right, so if you've gotten this far, congratulations. We've gone through and set up a Windows Server 2016 uh, machine running the desktop experience. We've set that up as a domain controller. So we added the directory services to it and we promoted it to a domain controller. And then we also validated uh, that we could add a account to the domain. Uh, we added Iceman, we validated the permissions, and we also checked DNS. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave them beneath the video. If you have any requests for future videos, you can also leave that request. Hopefully you enjoy this video, and if the new Top Gun movie comes out, hopefully you'll enjoy that as well. Talk to you later. Cheers.